Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today we're going to talk about 10 compelling offers to attract quality leads. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. The notification button will notify you every day when I upload my new videos. Right now, as of this video, as of today's date, I am uploading six per week, Monday through Saturday, every day at 3.30 p.m. And my videos are going to help you learn how to earn money, save time, and find balance. So they're all going to help you with in your business and like I said just go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button and I promise you I will give you some valuable content now what we're going to talk about today is 10 compelling offers to attract those quality leads what I want to emphasize is when you start a business the sales do not happen on your Facebook page or on your YouTube channel or on your Instagram posts. They happen at another level and that's an email marketing. What you need to do is attract people with an irresistible offer, something that they can't refuse and they give you their email address and then you start communicating through that email sequence. Let me show you something right here. Um, I know I've talked about this before, but I just want to give you a quick review just in case you're not sure but over here where the arrows are those are your social media platforms and that's where you're going to post something like um maybe you have this long post about how you've lost weight and these are some of the recipes that i found have been um, really have worked to help me i feel full i feel energetic and i've lost weight and what i've done is put this together in an ebook all the recipes that have worked for me and that will help you lose up to x amount of pounds in a month so this person is in health and fitness they put together this ebook well anybody who has a problem with their weight or maybe their energy are more apt to want to click that they're more apt to say hey yeah I'll give you my email address and my name and then you'll send me that ebook because that's going to help me solve a problem now somebody who's already fit and already has a successful plan in place or program most likely won't hit that or maybe they feel like they don't need to or maybe they do have a business and they want to see what you're offering and they might hack it and and maybe use something like that or something similar but the point is you want to make that offer so irresistible that they're willing to give you their email address because i'm telling you right now most people don't want to give their email address away because they get bombarded with all these emails and you know what i'm talking about go to your email account right now and you probably got tons of them coming in um i i do take time to clean out the ones that i decide i don't like and i do keep there's some that i've kept a couple years now that give very high quality content in their emails and they're they i trust them when they have something to offer to help me to build my business so and that's what it's all about is that person going to continue giving me content that's going to help me in my business so that's the email marketing system in a nutshell i will have my email marketing playlist at the end of the video and after you see these 10 compelling offers and you can go ahead and click those and get more in depth into the email marketing system but one of the things you have to have is something that's irresistible that somebody's going to just they have to have and they're going to give you that email address and then they're going to be on your list and that's where the work starts all right so let's get started number one is templates templates are things like marketing plans email newsletters sale letters infographics presentation designs these are things that maybe you've been very successful with maybe you've got that plan in place it's been successful in your business so you're willing to share that template with other people now you can find successful templates out there but make sure it's something that you've used and it works uh, you don't want to just willy-nilly be throwing out things to people because you really want to be able to back it up with hey i've used this email newsletter sequence and it's been very successful for me or i have these sales letters that i use or this template of how to set up a good sales letter and it's been successful for me because you really want to have credibility when you're giving these things so I want you to really take it seriously and you don't need a lot of different um, lead magnets or offers if you have one good one that you consistently offer and people keep clicking in and wanting it then that's doing its job so don't feel like you have to get all over the place and uh, offer a bunch of different things all right let's go to number two number two is surveys quizzes and assessments so maybe you um ask people in that post um would you like to take a survey on if uh, find out if you're healthy uh, maybe it's a health quiz or something or maybe it's some kind of a business self-assessment is your 
business um, where you wanted to be, take this quiz and find out or something like that. I personally have not used surveys, quizzes or assessments, so I'm going to give you a disclaimer there. But I can see how a really compelling one would get people to click buttons. My husband will sit on his iPad and he's always hitting those surveys about see how smart you are and answer all these questions. And he just, it, to him, it's fun to see if he can answer those 10 questions. And, and um, of course he laughs and he says, oh, they always say he's a genius because he got 10 right. But the point is that attracts him to answer those questions and that's what your surveys quizzes and assessments will do they'll attract people and then to take the quiz or the assessment you have to give your name and your email address because they'll say that oh, we need to send the results to you when you're finished so obviously we need your email address so it works pretty well the next one is actually one of my favorites it is checklists now checklist is when you're teaching someone how to do something. And I think I probably like this because I have a teaching background. I teach third grade math right now. And one day you'll hear me say I retired from that, but right now I'm still teaching. This is still part-time. Um, but a checklist is, you know, how to, like I have a checklist where I, I teach people in on the checklist how to launch their YouTube channel. What are the steps they need to take to launch that channel? And that's a checklist that they can have. I have another guide which is kind of like a checklist it has 12 steps on how to set up your business and people can go through and say okay these are the things i've done to make sure i've set my business up properly um you can't just get online and start your business and not think about uncle sam at the end of the year when you start making that money you have to claim it and you have to pay taxes and you have to get a domain name and you have to you know maybe set yourself up as a proprietorship or an llc so there's some background things that you need to do to be a legit business and that's what that checklist or guide does um they can also be process oriented to help teach somebody how to do such and such faster how to get such and such done quicker things like that um, so think about that when you're making a how-to checklist how is this going to help your client or your prospect why would they want to click the button i'm going to keep saying that over and over because that is really the key just because you think you have the perfect checklist if nobody out there wants it then it's for nothing number four swipe file i thought swipe files were just one thing when i started email marketing i was so overwhelmed with the emails um, like what do i write about how do i set up the templates i it was it was so, so overwhelming to me to even think about it that i really put it off for a while and then i found somebody that had a free swipe file with all of their emails and what i did when i first started i just went in and tweak them so that they were mine they were my story and my offers and things like that but it really helped me to have that guide to see what it looked like i'm a very visual learner so i needed something like that but you can have swipe files for sales copy landing pages um, emails like i just talked about subject lines maybe you're really struggling with subject lines and someone might say i've got this swipe file of a list of 25 email subject lines that have really worked and you're like wow i want those and they're free they're free so why wouldn't you you can even have blog posts there could be a, a swipe file about um, some of my favorite blog posts and again you could tweak them calls to action social media campaigns uh, code snippets things like that but think outside the box the basic idea of a swipe file is you're helping somebody save time because it's so time consuming to have to come up with that all by yourself, especially when you're new and you're thinking of all these different systems that you have to put into place. And what I have found is I have since, since my first swipe file of emails, I have since gone back and tweaked them even more to become mine. And I've added to the list and I've, I've gotten better at it. And I'm sure I'll go back and do it again and again throughout the history of my business, but it helps you get started. So swipe files are really great, especially for beginners in their business. You're going to help them save a lot of time. Number five, webinars and video training. So if you have a webinar and you have some free training in that webinar, which is exactly how most people offer them, they'll say, I will give you three tips on how I made, you know, a million dollars in a year or whatever. And you're like, wow, I, I want to watch that webinar. Well, before you get to click, once you click the button to the webinar, it's going to say, give me your email address and your name and we'll get you started. And to get to watch that free training, 
you're they're giving you're giving up your email address and there's usually something they sell at the end of the training but i will say most webinars that i've watched you will get a lot of value out of them even without buying their product so it yes their ultimate goal is to get you to buy their training or whatever their product is but they their first goal was to get your email address and your name and you gave it and you got some training out of it you got some value from it so it was an irresistible offer how can you not give your email address for some free training now the next one is pretty popular with businesses i've noticed and they give you a free trial i've got an example here um, with click funnels click funnels is a sales funnel company software that i use and there's a 14 day free trial and when i signed up i always sign up for the free trial because i'm afraid to put my money out for something that i'm not really sure if i'm going to use it and i'm sure if you're new you're still feeling that way there's so many different software tools that we need it's hard to pick and choose which one is best for you now some will actually give you a 30 day free trial which those are my favorite some of them will ask you for a credit card and they will go ahead and start your um, paid membership after the 14 days so if they do ask for a credit card make sure i always do this i write down the date 10 days away and remind myself on my calendar if you know you need to make a decision today do you want this or do you not and if i don't within 10 days i always will delete it um, because there's lots of different things out there but i do have a link below if you want to check out click funnels for a 14 day free trial there is a link below and you have nothing to lose um, other ones you might if you don't have an autoresponder um, you definitely want to go check out the different ones and um, they have free trials so that's pretty popular now I have seen people now you might say well, okay well that's software how could I use it well if you're to a point in your in your business let's say you've built a good audience you've you know and i'm talking significant not just like a hundred but you have a pretty significant audience and you've been giving valuable content i would say a year or two where people really respect you and they believe in you well that's when people will start a membership facebook group and i like i said i have found people who have established themselves where people are willing to pay to join their facebook group well they might offer a free trial for the Facebook group and say, hey, I want you to try my membership Facebook group for two weeks for free. See how you like it. And if you don't like it, fine, you can leave. And if you like it, well, then here's my $30 a month fee or whatever it is. So that's a great way if you're into marketing and, you've, and you're at that point in your business where you're offering a membership group. Number seven is another one of my favorites because I love cheat sheets. You know, I like to have a reminder, something real quick that's step, step by step. I love stuff like that. And you're probably thinking, well, what could I put for a cheat sheet? Let's say that, okay, I my favorite platform is YouTube and creating videos and using it for business. I would make a cheat sheet. I could make a cheat sheet in um, here are the steps for to script a, the perfect video. And I could give you a cheat sheet and show you that these are the steps now even though i made a video about it and you could sit there and take notes but at the end of the video i could say here's a cheat sheet just go ahead and download it and you've got all that information there or maybe you're into web design and you want to teach somebody some of the very basics in in what to do to create a website and they might have five steps to get started again they might do a video on it or you know do a big blog post on it and then they'll say well here's a cheat sheet and then you can have all that information right there does that make sense um maybe you have um uh, something for social media different social media posts require different size images and for people who are really into that maybe you're a social media management person and you really need that information you need to know all the various sizes of images and the different sizes that they need to be for the different platforms you could make a cheat sheet on that so think outside the box within your business what would be something that would be valuable that people would want to have in their hands right at the tip of their fingers that they would consistently use i have a cheat sheet on when you make a funnel with click funnels these are all the steps like make sure kind of like a cross off list did you do this did you do that there are various steps in making a funnel so i have a cheat sheet where you can go in and just check off everything and make sure you hit all those marks because even though i've made funnels several times there's still those 
you know, here and there you'll think, oh shoot, I forgot to do this or I forgot to do that. So I even follow my cheat sheet to make sure I don't miss any of the steps. All right, let's go to number eight. Number eight is good if again, you're established and you have success and you have a case study to share, or maybe you're sharing somebody else's. Typically case studies are offered when you're trying to sell higher profile type of offers. Okay. So if you're trying to sell something that's a little bit higher, I would say 297 or above, then you might want to share a case study. Why would somebody want to spend $297 on a training? You got to prove that it works. So that case study is going to prove that that training has worked for people. There's testimonials in there, um, figures, you know, all that stuff. So it's, it's definitely going to show that it's, there's been success behind that case and you're going to share it. And then they're going to say, Hey, I, I want those results that you are showing me and I'm willing to put out more money. So again, you're looking at higher offers with that one. All right. And the next one, number nine is a free consultation call. Now this one, I think it's fantastic. I, I would jump on this with it. You know, if you, everybody in this business, you got to look at where you're at and always look at somebody above you. And if somebody above you that you respect and admire and, and you would love to get, you know, pick their brain, you're going to take a free consolation call. Now here's the drawback. Um, I had a friend, it was funny. She had somebody, she was calling him where we were both like for two weeks. Cause it was way out the, the schedule, but we were both for two weeks. Like, let's make sure it was a 20 minute call. Let's make sure this call is valuable. And you have certain questions you're going to ask. And she did, she really wanted that call to, to help her answer certain questions. And it did, I mean, she prepared ahead of time. So make sure before you get the call, you help make it be targeted for yourself and be careful about taking advantage of the person on the other end. And that can happen. That can be the bad thing that other people might take advantage of you and really want, uh, want to spend that time on nothing but um, draining you of your information. But I believe you're, you're, you're always going to be giving out information and, and, and educating people. And you're not always going to get a return from every single person, if that makes sense. But I think it's a building block thing. We're all helping each other. And, you know, maybe you're watching this today and you'll never watch another one of my videos. And, and that's fine. If I can help you today, you know, come up with a really good, compelling offer and dig deeper into that. And that's all we have in our relationship. I'm okay with that because I've done that with other people. You can't, you can't connect with every single person out there that you hear of and that you watch and that you learn from, you're going to have your favorites and that's just part of the business. So, you know, have that attitude when you're offering help to other people is what I'm trying to say. If you give a consultation call, answer their questions, just make sure you let them know, you know, we've got 20 minutes. Um, I have another call right after this and let's use this time to really help you get your questions answered and answer them and then move on. Um, you may not, you know, I don't think the consolation call should always be to make a sale as, as much as to help somebody. If you help them and they want more from you because they know you're great at what you do, they will come back to you and they will get more from you and eventually probably buy from you. I, I truly believe that because I find myself doing that with other people. All right. And number 10, free ebook. This one, invaluable. I think it's probably uh, one that a lot of people will give you their email address from. But again, it doesn't have to take you a lot of time to write it. Like, don't think an ebook has to be 100 pages long. Again, let's go back to the cookbook that we were talking about at the beginning with the recipes. I have 30 recipes that have helped me lose weight. I'm going to share those with you in this ebook. That's a great ebook, but go in and make sure it looks good too. If you're not good at writing or you're not good at formatting, hire somebody to do it for you. And I've got an outsourcing link below. It says outsourcing ebook link where you can hire somebody. I bet you could get a great ebook made for 30 to $40 and it's going to pay off for you over and over again. They will put a professional cover on it. They will, even if you have all the, um, the recipes and everything, but they'll design them for you and make it look nice and maybe find pictures to go with it. So you work with the person, tell them what you want, and then you agree on a price. But I have had people make an ebook for me for as little as $30 and they're great. And I can use it over and over again. And I can put one together. I have the ability, but again, you've got to outsource part of your business because you're going to find you only have so much time. So choose where you're going to put your time and 
and then choose outsourcing where you'll pay other people to do that for you. So, um, you know, there's got to be a balance there. But definitely free ebooks are a great, compelling offer that people will definitely give you their email address. All right, that was 10. I hope that helped. If, if you're always wondering, like, I, I don't really know what to give, but here's the last tip, and I'm repeating myself, but make sure it goes with what your business is. Like, if I'm not in health and fitness, I, I'm in the business of wealth, right? You're either in health, wealth or relationships, I'm not going to sit here and give you a, an ebook on how to lose weight because that has nothing to do with my business. Um, is it helpful? Sure. But then I'm going to get attract people in my email list that want to lose weight and they're going to go, why are all your emails about business and making money? I want to lose weight. And you might think, well, everybody wants to lose weight. Everybody wants to, at certain times in their life, they might, but you, any, if you're trying to sell to everybody, you're going to sell to nobody. So stick within your niche and give information there and find something that you're really good at, something that you've been successful with. It might just be a checklist right now since you're new, but offer it to somebody else so it's gonna help them. Always think about that. The people that are right below you, how can I help them get up here with me and help them build their business? And that's what it's all about. And we all just keep pulling each other up that ladder, right? All right, don't forget to subscribe. I've got my link below and check out the playlist and the video I've got up here above and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.